Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem get node value, or you can say it as get kth node from the tail of the linked list. Well, this is a common problem, will be asked in many placement interviews. So be sure to understand this. You are given the pointer to the head node of the linked list and a specific position. Counting backwards from the tail node of the linked list, get the value of the node at the given position. A position of 0 corresponds to the tail, 1 corresponds to the node before the tail, and so on. So in this problem, we have two approaches. One is to count the number of elements in the linked list and traverse to the particular position by using n minus k. That is, k is position from the tail. If we traverse up to n minus k means it will point to the particular node that we need to return. So that is one approach. It will take some extra additional uh, time. That's the only drawback in that first approach. You can use that. But for the optimal approach, we can do this in a single traversal. So we will be initializing two pointers. First pointer will be traversing to k positions from the head of the linked list. After traversing, we will be moving both the pointers at the same time. When pointer 1 reaches the end of the linked list, pointer 2 will point to the particular node that we need to return, that is position from tail. So this is another approach. We will be traversing only single time in the second approach. We are going to see that. Let's check the constraints now. Here, test case can go up to 10. N can go up to 1000. The element in the linked list can also go up to 1000. And the position from tail it will be in between 0 to n. So we don't need to worry about some corner test cases due to the constraints. Let's check the examples now. Here we have two test cases. In the first case, we have only one element, that is 1. And the position we need to return from the tail is 0. Obviously, we have only one element. We have to return that element, that is 1. In the second test case, we have three elements, 3, 2, 1. And the position to return is 2. 2 from the tail is 0, 1, 2. That is, we have to return 3. So these are the sample test cases. Let's solve the problem now. First, we have to initialize two pointers. Initialize two pointers. Pointer 1 equals head. Pointer 2 equals head. We will be initializing both the pointers to head. After initializing, we have to traverse the pointer 1 to the particular position. Traverse to the position from the head. We will be using a for loop here for i in range of position from tail. We will be moving pointer 1. Pointer 1 equals pointer 1 dot next. After traversing to the particular position from the head, we have to traverse both the nodes. Traverse both pointers. So the condition here is while pointer 1 dot next not equals to null, we have to traverse both the pointers. Pointer 1 equals pointer 1 dot next pointer 2 equals pointer 2 dot next when pointer 1 reaches the end of the list we'll be returning pointer 2 return pointer 2 dot data because we need to return that particular position data let's trace the problem with this example here both the pointers pointing to head that is 3 in the first traversal, we are uh, traversing only pointer 1. So we will be traversing two positions. So two positions will be 2 and 1. Pointer 1 will be pointing to 1. In this uh, while loop, pointer 1 dot next not equal to none. But here it is equal to null. So the loop breaks, we will be returning pointer 2 dot data. That is the head pointer. Here it is 3. If this linked list has some more elements means we'll be traversing until it reaches the end. When pointer 1 reaches the end, pointer 2 will be pointing to the particular position from the tail of the linked list. So this is the whole logic of the problem. Let's run the code now. 
it passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. That's it guys, we solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. See you guys in the next video.